Alright, stay tuned for another shrimping adventure coming at you right now. Alright, Gene, we got Gene showed up here. He's gonna uh, give us a little instruction on how to throw this net now. Alright, Gene, show us something, buddy. Show us something now. Man, that looked good, Gene. That was a pretty one. Best one I've seen all day. Good job. <laughs> I'll have you just sit here and throw it, and I'll just pick it up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep catching a few shrimp here. We got got pretty many in here now. We're gonna get, actually go out in the boat in a little bit, but we're definitely getting uh, getting a few shrimp in here. But let's see what Gene comes up with here. And uh, on this one cast here, uh, it's a pretty cast. I might get some instructions from Gene. I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He got some shrimp. That's uh that's some nice nice edible shrimp there. Oh, don't get them too close to the edge. We don't want them want them jumping in the water. There's a nice one right there. Check him out. That's definitely edible. We, uh, we got another one here. Here. I'd say we'll go ahead and keep these two and the rest of them are going back in. We're going to toss the little ones and let them grow up and catch, catch them in a few weeks. These guys grow really fast. The whole lifespan is very short. So uh, there he goes. He's out. He's out of here. One more here. And a fish. All right. We're gonna keep getting up. Gene, catch me some more shrimp, man. I right, took a little trip out in the boat and uh, I put some bait balls out beside this pole right here. So we're gonna be casting toward that pole behind me. Uh, Gene came down just for a few minutes, threw the net a couple times and uh, left, but he was just paying us a quick visit. We're gonna go ahead out here now and get set up and throw it and see what we can catch. Here we go. All these lines right here have to be on the inside of the net. So when you pull it, it closes up. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Uh, okay, I still got one tangled up here. Somehow we got it completely tangled. Alright, that might have got it. Okay, let's see what we can do now. That's well, looking better. Try to throw it one time, make sure it gets all straight here. This first throw might not be that good. Let's see. Okay. Alright, we just, just baited over here about five minutes ago. So, there should be enough time. Should be able to catch a shrimp. Y'all ready? Well, right there where the bait was. Let's see what we got here. You gotta let it go all the way to the bottom. Once it hits the bottom, then you pull it. You can jerk it a little bit so the sinkers go across the bottom and get them shrimp up. Right, let's see what we got here. First throw. We got nothing. We got nothing on the first throw. Let's try again. We hadn't been, uh, just got here, so. Haven't had time for the bait to really be working yet good. See how it gets tangled up in here though. You see what happens right there? Sometimes you can shake it loose. Sometimes you can't. Yep, it's got to go outside here like that, I think. Alright, she's so still tangled up. We're going to throw it and hopefully it gets straightened out. Alright, here we go. That's a perfect throw. Oh man, I love that one. I love that throw. That was that don't catch nothing, ain't nothing in here, I don't think. We might have to go back to the dock. We're doing pretty good at the dock. I'd like to go ahead and give this a try, then. I use the whole thing of bait in here. Oh, we got a shrimp. I see a shrimp in there. And some fish. The fish, I'm sure that bait probably attracts the fish, too. So when you're catching the fish, you think it's attracting the bait. So, you know, the bait's working. Okay, two shrimp. All right, we may have to move. We're not catching anywhere near as many as we're catching over the dock. But, caught one of the biggest ones we caught, I think, right there. That's a nice one right there. That's a good eating shrimp right there. All right, we'll stay here a few more minutes. We can catch a few more of them. I'll stay. Stay tuned. All right, we did catch a few dozen shrimp here, but nothing like we were catching over there. We caught that uh, dozen in one cast over there before. So, we're going to go back over to where we were. Our bait should still be... Uh, volatile enough that it will attract some uh usually lasts a little while so we're gonna pull the anchor and get back over there and uh throw some more nets in the area that we've been catching this morning so stay tuned all right tracy we having luck today well steve caught all these shrimp so i'm just getting some <laughs> bait shrimp <laughs> tracy i saw you here our fish i said come get all the bait you want so we're gonna recycle the small ones i've been saving them for 
and we're gonna put them in a bag here and get some fresh bait. I tell you what, nothing better fishing with fresh bait than frozen or something else, you know. So, good luck, Thank Tracy. You, Steve. Alrighty. Take care. All right, you too, dear. All right, All right we're getting ready to start now. Check it out. Let's see how good it opens up. I can live with that. What y'all think? Sound good? Let's see what kind of we got anything in it now. All right, it's coming up right now. Here we go. We're pulling the net up. The cast net here. Let's see what we got in here. I see one right there. And one right there. A couple in here, but nothing great. All right, stay tuned. We'll do it again. I would call that a wrap. Check out the sunset going down. I like it. That's pretty over there. But I tell you, you can't go wrong. Getting outdoors and just enjoying life. All right, let's go home and see how many pounds we got to take. What do you think? Take a guess. All right, after pulling all the shrimp out and putting them on my scales, they weighed 6 pounds, 14 ounces, which is not bad. That's real close to uh, basically what I got the other day. We had uh, over 12, but that was with two of us. So individually, that comes out to about 6 pounds a person. But I think they're going to really pick up in the near future, so stay tuned. I broke out the shrimp cakes I made. I haven't tried them yet. I got one we're gonna just split and eat like a like just like a cake on on dinner. But then I got one I put on a sandwich we're gonna try too. So I'm really thinking the uh, salmon. I tasted one little piece off the edge. It was super good. But let's go ahead and get this uh, some stuff on here and try them out. Here we go. All right, everybody. The shrimp cakes were excellent. I'll be putting out a recipe on that one for sure in the future. But man, there's definitely going to be more of those in my freezer before this year's out. Well, I appreciate everybody coming along with me on my next uh, shrimp adventure I just went on. And hopefully uh, y'all come along with me on some more shrimp adventures in the future. Coming soon to you. All right. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master.